wanted something that fit my lifestyle, and Bison seemed like a perfect fit. I was looking for something that where I could use my own ideas and use my own marketing strategies and, and build something for myself and for my future. We uh, had a dairy farm. I grew up with dairy. There's never a break. You're milking two, three times a day. Uh, you're feeding, you're feeding calves. You're, it's very intensive operation, uh, not a lot of sleep involved. Uh, we were looking for something a little bit more relaxed. I went to college, I traveled, I tried other jobs and never expected to come back to the farm, but uh, ended up being the happiest there that I was anywhere. My dad's a teacher by profession who then became an x-ray tech and now we raise bison uh, on the side kind of things. He loved animals and always dreamed about having them and then eventually when he um, was married and had us, he decided that like, let's get into this, do as a family farm kind of thing. And the thing about bison that I find is a real advantage over cattle is you don't have to help them calving. I don't need a big infrastructure. Um, I don't have barns, I don't have all the equipment needed for a cattle operation this size. You don't have to take a, uh, a week off or a month off because they're calving. You can still go to work every day and come home and see that your animals are just doing fine. We feed uh, about once a month in the winter. We want to keep them happy, but uh, you don't have to be there for them to be happy. You just make sure there's some feed and water and they'll do just fine. Like it's very low maintenance, very low input cost compared to most farming ventures, I think. I can quite easily manage 400 bison cows and still take four months holidays in the year and work a full-time job. Mom and dad, are, they like to go away in the winter and I'm able to stay home and take care of the animals by myself. It's allowed me to work off the farm and, and work on other jobs, as well as uh, you know having being able to uh, take some time away different times in the summer and winter and not have to worry about um, being right there for feeding or milking or, or something else. Of all like agricultural industries, I think it's one of the most accommodating to people who have family or outside jobs or want to still have a life but love agriculture. I know a lot of my neighbors work off the farm to support the farm. My farm actually supports me in my off-farm adventures. I can honestly say I live very well and I thank the bison for it. It's about family, it's about working together. It's a lifestyle that you can work hard at and you're rewarded for that hard work. I get a lot of visitors, I get tourists, I get, uh, you know, uh, you can stand just a little bit taller when you say you're a bison rancher. What do you know Canada for? Maple syrup? beavers, igloos, polar bears, and bison. It's kind of like one of those things, I don't know. It kind of makes you proud to be a Canadian, I think. It's not difficult to get into the business at all. You have to just get out there and get a few animals, and they produce their own. You need someone, a uh, few people who can handle animals together a few times a year for weaning and separating animals. Um, that's why me doing it with my dad, we help each other out when when needed. Have hands on with your customers, hands on with the other producers. You really feel a part of it. If you're uh, quite busy and you're not able to market it, you just find the next producer out there and he'll be happy to take them off your hands and uh, you keep your cows and produce the next another herd for next year. Uh, bison ranching is a possibility for anybody that is interested. It uh, with. You can modify any kind of facilities, you can modify any kind of fence to make it work for you. Buy some animals, you could start them out at someone else's farm, they could be boarded there until you get your own piece of grass, some water, and you could move your animals there. But it, uh, anybody could, uh, could, could become involved in this industry. You don't have to be the, from a big farming background. Go to someone who has some experience, apprentice with them a little bit, learn what they're doing, and then start yours. I enjoy working in the office. I enjoy working with the animals. It's a, it is a great lifestyle. It is, uh, I can be one of the blessed people to say that I get to go to work every day and I love my job. I love being out in the country, the fresh air, the animals. Sometimes we'll just go sit in the field and they'll just kind of come around you and it's just a wonderful feeling. You just can't get enough of this animal. It's just, it's just that they have a presence and it's just so great to be around that that's where you want to be.